for cash out of anybody a dollar if they can guess what this padlock is to. Okay. Gave up yet? So this is it. Last time you're gonna see any videos, pictures, anything. She's gone. This is it. I have my fun. Copped her brand new off the lot back when I was 20, 21 years old. I'm the single only owner. They gave me a good price for it. Literally just under 16k. So she's out hopefully we're all gonna be on to better and newer things so i'm gonna try to pick me up something else soon but it ain't gonna be nothing crazy i'll tell you that much got a lot going on so yeah man it's over with everything gone sound system's going with it access port is going with it wheels everything gone you see it rolling around just know it's me Everything done. It's been a good ride since 2018, 2023, five years. It's all right though. We're gonna be on to the next. Oh, yo, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I got you. So pull up. You got it. That bitch loud. There she goes. There she goes. Howdy. Bye bye, baby. The next day. All right. So, hopping in, back into the video, next morning, um, it's fucking raining, I hate this time of year, cause it's supposed to be spring, but still 50 degrees, raining, and then you get 80 degree days, 60 degree days, 70 degree days, and then back to 40, 50, uh, whatever. So, yes, I've 100% sold my Ford Focus ST, um, with Carvana, uh, Carvana gave pretty much the literally the best deal it was it was semi impulsive but with a plan if the impulsiveness worked so because the impulsiveness worked here's my plan so uh, some of y'all that watch uh, you may know you may not know but I'm currently in barber school I have a daughter coming literally by the end of this month uh, filming this you know I sold the car literally the first of May she's due at the end of the month um so my plans are that uh with the money um that i got from the cell um i own my own home so i have a mortgage gas electric water you know i got bills and shit. so my plans are that with being in barber school and the sale of the car 
all that money is literally gonna go towards my house my all my bills so I'm gonna be financially set free for a temporary amount of time so that I can 100% focus on building my skill and craft of becoming a barber so that that can be my main source of income and I can really tackle and absorb and everything with about 80% of the stress taken off my shoulders because I got other stress that isn't financial but this like me doing this it came with a plan and I think that's why God let it work like literally like God didn't let it work last time because you know going to car going to CarMax they wanted like six thousand seven thousand for my car they priced it pretty much as the same as a fucking 90s to early 2000s Honda Accord but God let it work this time because I actually have a real plan and it's not for it's not for any BS it's not for you know I'm gonna sit here take this money I'm gonna go ball out I'm gonna go buy I'm gonna go buy phones sneakers clothes chains I'm gonna go buy another new whip probably put myself in the stupid debt you know I'm not even gonna be able to pay my bills like nah this this was a very calculated impulsive move and I'm just thanking God that it all worked out and that it's gonna work out the way I want to see it so that's pretty much gonna be the game plan because once my daughter's born I I want to be home with her for three months um, because my girl she's gonna be you know my girlfriend and I we're still together you know yes she's not no she's not my fiance we're not engaged we're not married but yes she is my girlfriend we live together we are together she plans on staying home for three months with the baby i'm gonna do the same um so the plans i have set forward you know it's all gonna work out it's literally gonna work out you know god first man for real like god does things like you don't even know and it's it's real it's true like i'm witnessing it firsthand man it's crazy it's a blessing for real it's a blessing in disguise and it come into the light so that's what's gonna end up happening um yes i know i'm like without a car right now but i'm car hunting right now and i'm i'm buying something very very fucking cheap i'm gonna give me a nice little i don't want to even call it a hoopty like it's not even gonna be a hoopty because i can't do that to myself but i'm gonna buy me a nice little clean daily something that i've actually been wanting since i was like like a baby like since i was since the first fast and the Furious, i'm gonna go ahead and give you a hint in this video because i'm gonna make sure um the next video is not gonna be intertwined with this one the hint is um the car i the car i want the car i'm looking for the car i have my eyes on is actually uh from the first fast and the Furious movie um it doesn't play a big role in the movie it's not as idolized and put into the spotlight but it's there i've always wanted it i was actually supposed to have it uh my sophomore year of high school but um my parents dubbed the shit out of me and they didn't let it rock so it is what it is but yeah that's literally what's going on that's what happened with the car that's the plans that's what's gonna be in the future so just stay tuned i know it's crazy like i ain't gonna hold you i cry like a bitch <laughs> I dead ass cried as soon as I like signed the papers tossed them the keys and it was like a hundred percent set deal I, They cut me the check. I cried like a bitch because I'm like damn it was more like a bittersweet like this was my first car My first real real car like I've already had like my 03 Maxima Yeah, I never got to see it on the channel because it was long gone um, You know, I got the Fox body. I grew up in that but this was like my first responsibility my first car my first build all the everything I went through like I went through so much shit in that car but like I said hopefully she goes on to make somebody else happy or if they change his her gender to a he because you know if it, it could land into a female's hands you know he she I hope the car makes somebody else happy and they get to enjoy it as much as I did and hopefully they get to do things that I didn't get to do because it does it does cost money for that platform it does it costs bread so um but yeah man i cried it was bittersweet i was like damn i really it really happened i really sold it i really let it go like i really got the money that i felt like i deserved for it so but just stay tuned man we um got some definitely got some shit coming in the future of the channel is definitely gonna be dope um damn if i can find fucking parking around this motherfucker 
but just stay tuned man it's just crazy can't believe it actually went down but it did oh, go bro because oh, yeah it's over with on to the next one i think the future is gonna look really good i think the future is gonna be really bright i think you guys are gonna like it i hope you do and definitely got updates on the warrior too so the warrior should be done very soon um so just stay tuned for all that just stay tuned just stay tuned you know what i'm saying just tap in with me and just stay tuned all right i'm gonna catch y'all